You just saw using the generic list class to represent the one-to-many relationship between customers and orders. You created an orders property in the customer class and that contained orders. And it's pretty important that the only thing you store in the orders property are actual orders. The nice thing about the generic list class is that it enforces that. By the very definition of that orders property as a generic list of orders, you are ensuring that the only thing you can store in there are orders. And this will save you a lot of testing and debugging and the potential of runtime errors that you can't catch ahead of time if you or someone else accidentally stores something else in that orders collection. So the generic list is a great way to ensure efficient code that does what you need it to do, saving you a lot of time and worry and effort.